Hey guys, so welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the Zenith Cruiser build. Uh, so please stay tuned, and uh, let's get to work. Welcome back guys and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse with the music there. Uh, got a lot done here today. Uh, pretty much got the whole stabilizer um, mocked up. Uh, got the top skins, or I mean the, the top skin is now on. All the, uh, the spar doublers on the trailing edge are all uh, riveted in place. And I did trial fit one of the wingtips. I do have some issues there. Uh, mostly because of the the change that they made to one of the uh, to the tail. Uh, originally, there was a shorter hinge uh, for the elevator. Uh, at this point right now, the hinge is too long. Uh, it goes all the way down to the tip, and that makes it a little bit too long. Because now I'll, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But basically, the hinge is going to hit the wingtip support. So let me turn the camera around, let you guys see that what I'm talking about, and uh, uh, I'm going to send uh, some information over to um, Zenith Aircraft and uh, try to get some uh, answers, maybe some help and support on that to find out should I just cut it, which I'm thinking that's what the answer is going to be, but uh, I want to make sure before I start cutting anything and uh, make sure that I'm doing it correctly because uh, the the, at the end of the day, my butt's going to be in this airplane and I want to make sure I did it right. So uh, let me turn the camera around and let you guys take a look. All right, so here's the, uh, the stab here. Uh, all set, ready to go. Uh, but there, here's the, where the problem comes in, is right here. So the length of the hinge now goes the full length of the stabilizer, okay? So where the problem comes in is right here. As you can see, the hinge is now going to interfere uh, and as you can see now that the, the hinge here is interfering with, or this portion of the wingtip is interfering with the hinge. 
so this is going to, I'm suspecting it's going to have to be cut and trimmed, uh, but it does not state that in the instruction manual, and I want to make sure that we do it, that I do it correctly, so I'm going to uh, call and check to make sure before I cut this. Uh, but, so what, what, what's going to, what's happening is now that because of this hinge piece right here, it's pushing up on the skin, and it's not allowing it to go up and down, so we're going to have to check with that. Um, but uh, as you can see, everything else is uh, lined up. I got the top skin cleat coat in place, uh, and that's holding all pretty good. Uh, holds the shape nicely. Uh, I got the other wing tip, the same issue on this side because of the length here. So, um, but we'll get that figured out. We have the wing tip here. Uh, the wingtip uh, support actually right here and then the uh, the tip portion here that's all done and riveted uh, nicely wrapped around that leading edge and uh, the service bulletin that I did look up for the aircraft it states that uh, there was a skin doubler uh, to go on the leading edge uh, however it did state that if you used um, 0 0.025 uh, for the skin opposed to 0 0.016, then you don't need that uh, added support or the doubler on the leading edge. So this is the 0 0.025, so uh, it's plenty thick enough and we should not need that uh, extra support along the leading edge here. Uh, also, I measured and checked. Um, originally, the hinge or the, the, the rivets for the ribs were uh, 60 millimeters apart uh, which they made the change to 30 millimeters apart uh, and I verified these are the new skins that do have the 30 millimeter uh, separation for these rivets so that means that this the service bulletins have already been uh, applied to this portion of the kit so I won't need to um, do any modifications uh, same with the hinge the hinge was uh, quite a bit shorter originally, uh, and uh, now the hinge goes all the way out to the tip, which is correct for the service bulletin. Uh, however, uh, it's a little too long. So I'll get that straightened out and uh, talk to uh, the guys over at uh, Zenith, and we'll figure that part out uh, to make sure that I do that all correctly and we don't have any issues. Uh, but other than that, everything is done there. Uh, I'm gonna wait to, uh, to, to uh, rivet all this in place, uh, but it's pretty good, pretty close. Uh, the bottom is all, hand, all riveted, as you can see here, and uh, no issues there. So, so like I said, guys, uh, that's all we're gonna get done for this weekend. So uh, make sure you hit that like button Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss the next steps on the Zenith build. So uh, with that, guys, keep building, keep flying, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.